All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm down here at Bowood here in Wiltshire. Beautiful golf course. I've got a guest to the channel. This guy is a superstar. And only recently did I know this guy plays golf. Everybody, welcome, Mr. Robbie Williams. Hello, everybody. I don't think plays golf is, I, I attempt to hit the ball. He's done all right so far. He's done all right. So Robbie contacted me a couple of weeks ago saying that he'd been watching a few of the videos and wanted a bit of help with his golf game. So this is kind of session number two. And we thought while we're down here, let's do a little mini match with Robbie Williams. Look at that. So where did the golf, Start. Rob, how did it all? Well, I was a junior member at a course called Burslem in Stoke on Trent, and I think it was 50 quid a year to be a junior member there. I played for a couple of years and was obsessed, but I didn't have any lessons and uh, I kept practicing mistakes. Okay. And although I loved the game and loved watching golf on the TV and was engrossed with it all, I just wasn't progressing. Uh, and then I joined Take That. Yeah. And that took up all of my time. Next time I started playing, I must have been about 24, 25. Played for a couple of months, was still practicing my stakes, got frustrated, jacked it in. Then, 12 years ago, I got obsessed, obsessed. And I was hitting 200 balls a day oh on the range, playing 36 holes, coming home and watching a DVD when there was DVDs to watch <laughs> on golf and then repeat the process. This was before wife yeah. and before kids. Yeah. And then I had a 10 over and an eight over and a seven over, then a five over. And I was like, I'm that guy now, I've cracked it. And Golf's then done. I couldn't break a hundred for about 10 games. And I kept going right. I didn't know what I was doing. You would think that at that point, you'd go and get a lesson. Yeah. I did not. I threw my clubs down and I didn't pick them up again until five weeks ago. Crazy. This time, <coughs> I'm enlisting the help of professionals in the shape of Mr. Rick Shields, who I'm a big fan of, been watching your videos for a couple of years now. Even though I wasn't playing golf, I watched your videos. And uh, the first one I watched was the uh, Under the Floodlights in Dubai. Yeah. And I was like, I need to get back into golf. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, four weeks later, and um, as everybody out there will be, will know, it's really frustrating with flashes of brilliance that make you keep coming back. But this time, more than any other time, I'm not going to give up. This is a race to single figures. There you have it. So before it rains down here, we were actually gonna get out on the main course, but it's been horrible weather. So we're gonna shoot out on the little mini course, play a few holes and see how Robbie Williams plays golf. Did you get that? I got that one. Good news, last minute change of plan. We're actually going on the big course. We've been promoted. There's nobody out there because honestly, the rain has been biblical all morning. We didn't think the golf and, course and would be And lightning, and lightning this and morning. Lightning. <laughs> it's not stopped raining, but we've, we found a window of opportunity, we're gonna take it. So we're gonna play three holes, probably gonna play 10, 11, and 18. How many shots are you giving me? Um, I'm gonna give you, each. no way, two on each. I'll give you one shot on each. Okay. One shot at each, and we'll, uh, we'll play for five pounds. Five pounds? Five pounds. All right, then yeah, on. <laughs> okay. Don't leave me hanging. So here we go, 10th hole, just under 400 yards. Both going with drivers. Stroke index nine. Uh, welcome folks to the three hole boy band invitational. Uh, Rick wasn't necessarily in a boy band, no. but you should have seen the dance moves. He wow. was cutting in my kitchen last night. Uh, because of that, he's allowed in. Nice. Good luck everybody. Straight down, par four, nothing much to it. Couple of bunkers, but a good tee shot will do you five. That is perfect. 
Cool. That is perfect. Look at that. <laughs> Easy. So Rick Shields on the tenth hole. I feel like a good tee shot. Yeah. Do you know what? I didn't quite catch it. <laughs> but it's in the middle and it's gone a distance, so I'm happy. Bit left. Bit left, left of centre. So um, the pin's probably 190 away, which is in between clubs for me. Yeah. A distance that I can't reach. It was a good drive. You yeah, smack bang yeah. in the middle of the fairway, but with it being so wet, we've seriously got no roll out at all. Pin's down there. Here's the thing though. When I hit this, I'm there for one, right? That's it. This is par five for me. I'll just lay up. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. Play sensible. What are you hitting? Four iron. Okay. Golf shot. That is perfect, that Rob. Right into the mouth of the green. Today, the weather's a big factor. Uh, the cold and the rain, although it's not raining right now, have considerably lessened the distances. Yeah. Rick's hit his drive. Well, I, see, if, if I was being honest, it's 210. <laughs> it's egg, 210. I'm, I'm 125 left of the green, okay. so I've hit it about 270, 280. Uh, I'm going to hit a pitching wedge, try and fly it all the way there. Oh, poor bit that. Of it oh. It should be dancing, but it's left. Always replace your divots. Not my greatest shot there. Just pulled it a bit so it's gone a fraction long. Thanks, Rob. So 58 degrees. Got about 50 yards left. So we're going to do a shoulder to shoulder. 58 degree. Greens are soft so you can fly it all the way there. Puts it close and piles on the pressure. I'm off the green just to the left but probably will be putted. You've nipped it, but it's come up short. Just slid under it a little bit. Put in front of the green though, but left himself a long par put now. What have you enjoyed about your return to golf so far, Rob? Uh, what I've enjoyed is purpose. Getting up in the morning, knowing that I'm about to do something, better myself, or maybe frustrate myself. Uh, but in between, promo for albums, doing gigs, various appearances. I have something to do and uh, an aim. Yeah. Um, and what have you got coming up? You got an album coming out? Yeah, but it's not until Christmas, but I've got a bit of, I've got some odds and sods to do before then. Um, I'm enjoying the fresh air, yeah. you know, and I'm enjoying the flashes of brilliance. That's pretty good, you know. That's pretty good. Well, nice effort. Thank you. Nice effort. Bit close. Rick Shields, everybody. Okay. <laughs> Is that good? That's good. Okay. So I'm in four of four. I've got this for a half. This for a half. Yes. Nice work, good half. Thank you. Whole half. Well played, On to the next. Well played, you. 11th hole, 187. Par three, four iron. Uh, hitting a four iron because I'm not clearing my hips and I can't uh, get distance with my irons. But come and ask me again in three months. I going to say that's changing. Right. Rob's being realistic with his distances. Right, nice four iron. Oh, it's a little bit up the right. Not your best hit. You get a shot down here, though. Yeah. Not, not perfect, but not, not horrendous. Perfect. Okay, so... Uh, my shot was a bit toilet. Let's see how it's done properly. Right. Mr. Rick Shields. 
to the par 3, 11. Let's try and get a good one. 187 yards. Look at that swing, everybody. Poetry in motion. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Social golf. <laughs> oh, that wasn't a great strike. What were you whispering? I felt like you were. No, no, no. I was up. just doing my Peter Alice. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, I was bigging you up, but I was doing my Peter Alice commentary. What's this then, Rick? Shoulder to shoulder. Well, yeah, it's a 58. You're in a little bit of a rough lie, but it, you're only 50 yards away from the flag, so it's yeah, shoulder to shoulder, 58 degree, and a confident one. You're always better to be a bit long on this. That's a beauty. That is a beauty. Wow. Nice shot, Rob. Thank you. Tip out of wet sand. Don't hit quite as far behind the ball and not quite as long a swing. Let's see if that's uh, worked out. Pretty good. So upon the green, gives myself a chance for par. I'll give that a rake. Rob's putting's come on so much in the last few weeks. You can always put a good stroke on it, but it's finding distance control very hard to judge. It's getting a lot better at it now with good practice. This is for par on number 11. And a chance of winning the hole. Right, come on, magic wand. Do that thing. Wow! Come on! Wow! <laughs> Boom! Well done, pal. Thank All you. Right, Rob goes one up. I, I can't even do anything with it. That was a class up and down. I'll have a roll, but it doesn't mean anything. Oh! <laughs> right. You know what, when they don't mean anything, they go in. Right, let's head down 18, last hole. Rob is one up in the match. So final hole of the match. Rob can't lose. He's one up, one to play. We're here on the 18th hole, so we've uh, jumped across. 370 yards going back towards the clubhouse. Good looking hole actually, slight dog leg to the right. Rob's got the big stick out. Got the big stick out, and I've been telling you about these big bombs I've been hitting, but so far you've yet to see one. Hopefully I'll be able to shift the hips, get through it, and prove that I've not been making fisherman tails. Oh, I, can, uh, I can vouch for some of your long bombs, but it does help if we've got video evidence. Okay, clear those hips. Snap the left leg. All my life I've not been snapping the left leg. This is the time to do it. Oh, it's a decent drive. It might have to come sit down a bit. Oh, did that finish? That's all right. Is that all right? Yeah, that's all right. Didn't go in the bunker. Nope, didn't go in the bunker. Nice shot. Thank you. Not a bomb, but a whiz bang. Big shields doing well. The race to Dubai. Okay. Not the actual golf tournament. Just excellent duty free. Didn't see it, but you're posing really well, so I think you like it. Well, that's a trick to YouTube golf. <laughs> <laughs> you hold your finish and I find the ball. Now, it, it took a little bit of a tight line. Hopefully, it's carried the real long garbage, but it might just be rough. But I cut the corner off a little bit too much. Should be all right. Okay, let's go find it. So, 150 front, 160 to the back, Rob. Okay. You're just in the rough up this left hand side. Well, I'm in a bit of schmutz. 150. I'm going to take my five iron. Yeah, it's not that sensible. You're in a bit of wet rough. There's not much wind, and you ideally you want to chase it up. This is what we've got. Okay, left. pop the left leg, get the hips through, hit down on the ball. 
That's it. It's your winning formula. Oh, you f And then that happens. <laughs> and that's golf, everybody. That's golf in a nutshell, guys. <laughs> I told myself to do all of the things, and then my body and mind just went, nah, not today. Let's not bother with that. <laughs> Still, I'm there for one, right? You are there for one. What a shot. Look at that. If you ever find a golf ball like that on a golf course. You know it's from 2007. Yeah, it's a 2007. Robbie Williams golf ball. <laughs> um, got about 70 odd yards left in. Okay. So I'm on a bank. Yes. Where's my weight? Where are my feet? Ideally, you want to try and position yourself as closely with the bank as possible. So try not to fight it too much. Yeah. The ball will off this type of lie with a wedge is more predominantly going to go to the left. Okay. So basically the ball is above, is going to be above Rob's feet. So you want to go slightly right of the flag. If it does pull left, it's actually going to be the middle of the green. I'd go not as far right as that. Keep going, keep going. You haven't going. seen my shots when the, the, this happens. Oh, you just look like you're aiming a long way right there. Yeah? Yeah. Well, check this out. <laughs> Show me what you got. I take it all back. Told you. I take it all back. Mm. <laughs> that shot back. Thank you. <laughs> So Rick's absolutely creamed this one. This is just a different game when you cut out that corner there, bomb it over that tree, and then just place it 40 yards from the pin. That's what you want your golf to be like. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Rick Shields has done just that. Now, this is where it gets interesting. <laughs> How many yards? We're about uh, 65 to the flag. Yeah, no pressure. I know, not my favourite shot in the world, but got a little 60 degree. Where'd it go? Excuse my zooming skills, that was the first time I've attempted to be Pete Finch. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Even though I was aiming way out to the right, it came way left. You proved me wrong. You proved me but wrong. But that, you know, that's... Knowing your own game. Yeah, <laughs> knowing how bad my own game is. This is what we've got left. Rob's got this for par but effectively a, a birdie with his shot and I've got that for a birdie but pulled up a little bit short. Rob's is down the hill, mine's up the hill down here on the 18th hole at Bowwood. Beautiful golf course, definitely worth coming playing. For the best part in history. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't far off. I'll give you that Rob. Thank you. Right, in for bogey for par, so I've got this to have the match up. Okay, come on, this needs to drop. Five pounds, please. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Unlucky. That was class. Thanks, Rob. There you go, Appreciate mate. That, pal. Thanks, Rick. So, should we have a round up? Yeah, I think Robbie's uh, Robbie's game in the last few weeks has come on leaps and bounds. When I came down here about three weeks ago, our main mission was to break 100. Rob's doing that comfortably every single round now. What's been your best so far? 84? 84, yeah. That's pretty solid. Yeah. What's the goal that. for the end of the year? What would you love to shoot? Uh, I reckon uh, uh, I'm going to give myself a really easy target to hit. Okay. To be uh, not delusional. So I, I want to be hitting low 80s towards the end of the year. Uh, I think that's realistic. You know. It's sensible. Three out of five times each round. Perfect. Let's let's do that and get a prop handicap. 
get a proper handicap. It's 13 at the moment, but I, that's... It's not bad. Yeah, but you know, it's tough to play to. The handicap system's a bit of a bandit in itself. It is. Okay, Rick, thank you very much for coming down to Bowwood today and taking me through my paces. Your channel is amazing. It's entertained me now for a couple of years. I want to thank you personally for helping me to get back into golf. All those people out there in internet land, if you are interested in golf, come to this man's channel. Um, he's the best one that's out there. Awesome. Thanks, there you go. All right, and, uh, go and follow Rob and see all what's going on. He has a great YouTube channel, does Vloggy Williams. Definitely worth checking out. Right, peace out. See you all soon. And that is me and Robbie Williams out on the golf course.